To quote a popular Nobel laureate, "It's not dark yet, but it's getting there." Hey everyone, this is Leon from Prologue Projects. On this episode of Five to Four, the hosts are talking about Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito. As most of you are probably aware, it was reported recently that Alito, on multiple occasions, has flown flags associated with far right wing movements outside of his home. The hosts are not surprised, but they are concerned about the failure of the Democratic Party and the media to raise a ruckus. This is Five to Four. A podcast about how much the Supreme Court sucks. Welcome to Five to Four, where we dissect and analyze the Supreme Court cases that have ravaged our civil rights, like pneumonia is ravaging Rhiannon's lungs. <laughs> I'm Peter, and I'm here with Michael. Hey, everybody, and only Michael, <laughs> <laughs> just me. Because as I heavily implied just now, Rhiannon has pneumonia. Yes, from being too moral, I think. From working too hard to do good stuff. That's what it feels like. Yeah, she worked herself to the point where her immune system is low, and then she went to prison, and that, Mm -hmm. you know, that'll do it. (laughs) She drank the pneumonia water, and here we are. So, yeah, uh, you know, get well soon, Rhiannon. Yeah, we love you. But also, you deserve the time off, you know? Take Mm -hmm. (laughs) take it easy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Please rest. Why do I feel like she's going to get out of bed one day, be like, I'm feeling good. I'm going to go to a rally yeah. and then come back with like pneumonia too. <laughs> An yeah. even worse version of pneumonia that no one has ever heard of before. Antibiotic resistant pneumonia. And then we have to, <laughs> we have to move on from Rhiannon as a podcast. <laughs> <you know? laughs> All right. Today we are going to be talking about the ongoing drama surrounding Justice Samuel Alito. But before we get into it, I guess we also have to talk about the ongoing drama surrounding Donald Trump. That's right. (laughs) Convicted felon Donald Trump. Convicted felon Donald Trump. (laughs) You know, it's interesting. I, it feels like a big moment and yet I don't feel particularly moved by it in any sense. Mm. We have taken what feels like a necessary step Mm. towards a world where maybe someone like Donald Trump is held accountable in some way. Yeah. But we're not all of the way there. You know, sentencing is not for about six weeks. Yeah, July 11th. There's still a chance he gets just probation. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a tricky spot for the judge. You have to really stick your neck out to put Trump in jail for any period of time, Mm -hmm. let alone a significant period of time. That said, I think fundamentally... This is funny. Yes. It's very funny. And you have to sort of circle back to that, you know? Mm. That's what my heart is telling me at all times. This is funny. Don't let these, like, centrist wags drag you down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All of these losers who are like, oh, this is, maybe maybe this is like a little bit of overreach or whatever. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck. I'm sorry, but everyone, like, in the abstract always agrees That like it would be better if powerful people were held responsible for the crimes they do. Right. And then it fucking happens for once. And everyone's like, hmm, is this a bad precedent? Yeah, no, I'll tell you it's incomplete and it'll be incomplete until we see him in handcuffs perp walked into fucking Rikers Island. Right. But (laughs) (laughs) until that day, our lives are just not meaningful in the way they should be but (laughs) but something special was delivered at least to to me and i believe to you which is the vindication of knowing you were fucking right and all these smug assholes with op-ed columns were wrong and that feels good (laughs) yeah fuck you john shate fuck you jed sugarman right ian milheiser ian milheiser there is sort of a tie-in to our podcast here which is that The legal media absolutely tripped over their dicks on this. Whiffed so bad. Mostly because this was a charge brought under a statute that like your average pundit lawyer has never heard of. Right. So at that point, you're confronted with two choices. One is you actually try to talk to some experts. Mm Mm-hmm. And two, as you start blowing smoke up the American public's ass and every single pundit chose the second avenue and they were like, I don't know about this charge. This seems like maybe it's 
not the right format. Maybe this isn't the right vessel to prosecute Trump, blah, blah, blah. Nope. Got him. Got you were wrong. <laughs> you suck ass. <laughs> yeah. Quit your fucking jobs. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Some of them have moved on now to like having been wrong about it being dismissed before trial and been wrong about him getting off. Now are being like, oh, it'll be a overturned on appeal. And it's like, just, just stop digging, man. Right. How many times do you have to get something wrong before you're just like, you know what? I'm going to sit the rest of this one out. Yeah. You know what? I've never practiced criminal law in New York. I don't know criminal law at all. I'm just talking out my ass here. And I've just been wrong, wrong, wrong for two years. Maybe I should just shut the fuck up. John Chait, maybe just shut the fuck up. It's unbelievable and also very believable. Oh, yeah. They will never shut the fuck up. No, no. That's <laughs> that's for sure. The important thing to take away from this is that there were a bunch of smug, centrist, and liberal pundits talking out their ass about this. And they were wrong. And we were right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to the main event here. Last week, we joked about it in our opener. Mm -hmm. Samuel Alito and his various flags. <laughs> and, his, and his many flags. <laughs> hey, folks, if you want to hear the rest of this episode, you're going to have to subscribe. There are a few ways to subscribe to and support 5.4, get our premium episodes, and you can learn about them all at 54pod.com slash support. Subscribers get a whole bunch of benefits, including exclusive episodes, members-only events, first dibs on live show tickets, and access to our very lively Slack channel. So if that sounds good, head over to 54pod, all spelled out, dot com slash support. Thanks.